um, it, yeah, gelatin is at, at least safe. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> stimulate muscle growth the way uh, other proteins such as meat uh, can do. But uh, the the person's history really is is has to be taken into account when you're uh, looking at the the diet and the exercise program, uh, because uh, I've known people who ate gigantic amounts of meat and were producing so much cortisol <laughs> in response to the meat right. that they had uh, extremely high levels of amino acids in their urine and their muscles were uh, being damaged by that same uh, high level of cortisol. Huh. Uh, and so uh, ideally, in like the germ-free animals, uh, they can run on uh, very little protein and lots of uh, carbohydrate. Uh, the carbohydrate uh, gets used for energy and uh, you would uh, assimilate essentially all of the protein that you eat hmm. because your cortisol wouldn't be uh, destroying it and excreting it. Interesting. Uh, so, well, what kind of carbohydrates? They wouldn't be starchy and dangerous. Uh, fruit. Fruits, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Pretty much then you're saying that the fruit would be a, a very good source of uh, amino acids as uh, muscle building compounds. Um, yeah. As long as you're getting uh, all of the essential nutrients, for example, from some seafoods and eggs, uh, right. then uh, uh, fruits uh, uh, and uh, gelatin yeah. would be a very safe uh, diet for 